Hello, my name is Andrew Hayes and this is my website user experience evaluation for human computer interaction. This is our second CA and we were given the objective of critiquing and evaluating a website and noting the problems and identifying recommendations. So the website I chose to use was M&M Direct. I'd used this website before. I found it was very slow to load. Uh, I, beforehand, I never really liked the colour scheme that it was used. I um, also found the page was quite cluttered. And just generally, when using the website, I felt it was quite laborious. I'll evaluate it further on to explain them features. So on our homepage here, we see we have started off, we have our advertisements as we scroll down. So Superdry take up the first big advertisement. We have sections here where we can look at men's, women's, kids and you. These don't have drop boxes. These are just button buttons here that will bring us to a different page. I feel these buttons are very unnecessary. Um, as I'll show in a moment, we have a navigational bar at the very top of the screen which provides drop boxes. Uh, so I feel that these are very unnecessary. Also, the home page, as I said, is quite cluttered. We've got lots of advertisements with a lot of colour. I feel that the page is very busy and can be quite hard on the eye. Um, a recommendation would be to declutter this page, at least make the advertisements a bit smaller, especially the super dry one at the top, just to make the user experience a bit better. <coughs> Down here we're given uh, various items to use. Since I've been using the website already and looking at jackets, it's obviously offering me a couple of jackets here if I want to have a view of. And as I get further down the page, we have About Us, and then my basket is here at the very bottom. So back to the top of the home page here. We have a search bar at the very top. If I start entering a search, for example, say jackets, I will get men's jackets, Jack and Jones hoodies, etc. So I'll get recommendations as I type. Um, the navigational bar here, so we have women's, kids, men's, etc., footwear. So if I hover over these, I get a drop box. As I was talking about earlier on, this completely removes the need for the, the buttons further down the homepage. We have a sign-in option here, and we also have our basket. Another problem identified with the basket is as I hover over it, it shows what's in the basket there. So I added jeans to the basket earlier on. But as I move away, the, the basket stays open. Uh, you have to actually click this button. I feel it would be much easier as would be if the basket would close as I'd move the mouse away from the uh, the basket altogether. So, as we go in, we'll go into men section here. So, the website, as I did say earlier on, is quite slow to load. I'm not sure why. I think maybe it's just because there's such a volume of stuff on the pages, but. And as we can see, even my basket here is still slow to load. So. so as I scroll down, this is what we're presented with. These are the items here to view. Over on the left side of the page over here, we have different sections we can refine. So we've got color, brand, product, etc. And as we go further down, there is quite a lot of items to view on the first page. So if I go back to the top of the page here, and I wish to sort by brand. So I'll select Adidas down here at the bottom on the left. One problem identified is every time I select something, the page has to reload with the products there that I've chosen to refine by. And I don't get the option of refining by brand again. I'd have to go back a page and select a different brand. I feel it'd be much easier if up here we had a selection we could click into a fine buy, select the items we wish to view and then have a button that says done that we can select when we're finished and we can have all the items we wish to view on the pages there. Regarding the colour scheme of the website obviously it uses blue, red and yellow and a white background. So the next button here is blue I feel with the logo being blue, I think I know they use it for the writing as well, but blue is such a could be such a prominent color uh, for the website which would work a lot better with the red. I feel the yellow is almost unnecessary and it's almost hard on the eyes as well. So for the buy buttons here, one of the problems I identified would be 
that the, the yellow doesn't really catch the eye, it's really sore on the eyes almost, and that if the button was changed to blue, it would enhance the overall user experience. And also we use the red for the prices here. Um, and another thing as well, with the font, I feel that this could be slightly bigger, the writing, the descriptive writing of what the product is, um, just to, to make it a bit easier in the eye for the user. So, if we remove, if I go back to shop all men's, we are given text box here about men's clothing. And as I identified in my document earlier on, I found that the font on this was quite small and made it quite difficult to read. Uh, I found that people that maybe have see, uh, sight difficulties, especially if they wear glasses, might find this a bit difficult to read. So if they just enhanced them, expanded the size of the font, it would make it much more accessible. Um, overall, the website, every, every link, every button did work. But as I said, the overall user experience while doing so wasn't very satisfactory. Um, I did not enjoy searching through the various items, especially the long, laborious task of clicking through the refinements by searching by products or brand, etc. I feel that they could be improved through a refinement section where you can select everything at once um, and also decluttering the home page or at least making the main first advertisement much smaller. Because as you have to scroll down through this home page, your navigational bar also doesn't follow you, which would make it much more accessible, especially if they expanded by adding more items to this home page. It could lead to lengthy scrolling. Um, so having that with you, say if it was just here, would make it much more accessible for the user to be able to search through the items. Thank you very much for listening to my screencast uh, on Eminem Direct. Uh, my name's Ben Andrew. Thanks again.